Hello, my name is Nick. I'm an ex-Royal Marines Commando, British Military Fitness Instructor, Boot Camp Instructor, Rehab Instructor and a Level 3 Personal Trainer. And today's video, slightly odd one, of people getting a headache when they do fitness training. This is not that uncommon. I have trained quite a lot of people that get headaches when they train. It generally happens when they do cardio, high intensity cardio. Uh, you're really kind of pushing their heart, you're pushing their body that's when the headaches seem to come. If you're one of those people that suffer from headaches and it's stopping you from doing exercise, I have two people at the moment that I train who get headaches when we do uh, intense cardio things. So all we've done is basically stopped the intense cardio because it's no fun for them uh, to, to have a headache and those headaches can actually last for over a day. And one of the ladies I train gets such bad headaches, it actually knocks her out for about 24 hours and she has to lie down because it's so bad. So with those people, I reduce the cardio and we focus on basically weights. Uh, yeah, basically just lower intensity work, but we're still working the body hard, but we're not really getting the body, you know, the, the heart pumping blood hard and fast. So with them, when I say we're doing weights, we're not doing incredibly heavy weights because then your uh, heart will be pumping the blood hard around the body. We're doing basically medium intensity exercise is the best way I could describe it. Better than everything I just said before. So we basically do a medium intensity exercise or low to medium intensity exercise. It's just one of those things. If you're one of the one of those people that gets a headache, um, there's no reason to not do exercise. You just need to change the exercise you're doing. And it's a little bit of a fault finding process. So with the two people I have at the moment and just focusing on the woman in particular, we had to fault find. We had to fault find what works for her and what doesn't work for her. So I actually have a journal of exercises that when I in, uh, include a new exercise for her sessions, if she then messages me via the phone saying, yeah, I actually had a headache after that session, then I put kind of a little warning against that exercise saying, okay, this is a new one we added, she didn't like it, so we either take that one out, maybe try it on at another time when as her fitness levels improve. Um, so it's a bit of a fault finding. And we have been able to include a lot of the exercises that to begin with gave her a headache. We took them out, as her fitness levels increased, we were able to then bring them back in slowly um, and she's actually fine with them. So it's a, a gradual curve with her, we can't go hard and fast, um, but, she was adamant that the headache would not stop her. And also a male client that I train was adamant that his headaches would not stop him. Uh, they both do exercise, they're both very fit. Again, it's just a fault finding, have a little journal, write down what exercises are giving you the headache. Generally, in my experience, it's the higher level cardio uh, sessions that give people that headache. Hope you liked the video. Uh, please like, please subscribe and leave a comment and I say in all my videos, I don't know how to build a house, I don't know how to fix a car, but one thing I'm pretty good at is fitness because I've done it for over 20 years. Uh, thank you for watching.